In the last few months, something strange is happening in tech industry. For international students, I would say less than 15%. Nobody has the program. And that the programming language is human. Senior, senior software engineers are in a demand. If you follow TLDR, Bloomberg, Wall Street Journal, any tech news, you will only see news about AI. As I that, you know, maybe software engineering doesn't exist anymore. What is happening? What is wrong with tech industry right now? in the US and all over the world. Let's talk about in this video. So hi everyone, I am Hardur, currently working as a software engineer at Microsoft and I have been so close to Silicon Valley engineers, AI engineers. So four important things in this video. Update on the layoffs, broken senior only tech market, update from the FTA and interest rate departments about the new hiring process and last, what tech industry wants in 2024. Number one, layoffs. So this is a story about HNV, a couple in Bay Area. Well, they were having a really good life, both were making almost 200k plus salary, having a great time. And suddenly, one of the employee of a big tech company, not a st small startup, they get an email. I was so scared that I was going to have like a panic attack. An urgent email invite from a hiring manager. Yeah, come immediately, we need to talk about it. The person is very nervous. And that person is called to the hiring manager's cabin without giving time to pick up the computer. No, no time at all, nothing. But uske baad, the person goes to hiring manager's desk. He's given a notice ki yaar, you are laid off and you should leave right now and exit the building, no time given to pick up stuff from the desk. He had the only photo of his mother on the desk and uska bhi time nahi mila and suddenly kicked out of the desk. Also Google, when they laid off employees, the next day they open their laptop and they see that, oh, they don't have access to their computer. No time given to take out the personal data from their computer. And layoffs are so toxic sometimes that this is done so that when a person is going back to their desk, they don't like, you know, use abusive language and they don't disturb the productivity of rest of the employees. So that's why it is done as silently as possible, which makes it really, really toxic. And when you leave that employer, you feel like, you know, you have done a crime. There's a bunch of research that finds that layoffs, not surprisingly, can lead to all kinds of bad things. 20% decline in lifetime earnings, Increased risk of divorce, cardiovascular disease, depression, even suicide. You're no less than a criminal in tech industry when you're laid off. But the harsh truth is, this is part of American culture. More than 40% of employees will get laid off at some point of time. And this has been happening from the last 60, 70 years as per the data. Now, number two, why layoffs are hot right now? Even in this third quarter, so third quarter in the US has started since 1st July. There were layoffs from Microsoft. There were layoffs from many big tech companies the moment this quarter began. So why layoffs are hot so much right now in 2024? Is it AI? Is it something else? So number one is non-AI reason, which was the moment done by Elon Musk. So Elon Musk led the team of Twitter. There were 8,000 employees in Twitter and laid off 70% of the workforce. Now there are only 2,000 people. Now, if you look at Twitter app, many people say it is better than before. The application is light, lightweight. It is much faster than before and it works pretty seamlessly. And it did not need, seems like here 8,000 employees were not needed. With 2,000 employees, it is enough. So as per Josh as well, I watched his video, he very well said that there is definitely area in tech industry when they hire more people, they make their investors happy. Yeah, we are hiring more people, we are growing and we will make more revenue, we'll bring more revenue as well. So hiring more people is a sign that your company is doing well. That's why companies keep on hiring. And the engineers sometimes, for example, at Snapchat, they had a UI UX engineering team of 400 people. And Snapchat maybe doesn't need 400 people working on buttons, UI. They can, just like Twitter, they can maybe work productively with maybe 5, 10, 20 UX designers. So there is definitely some hyper skills, hyper category of engineers, which are not needed. They are basic doing basic stuff. They're just over hired even now that are being released slowly just to keep investors happy. And just to show Wall Street that next quarter will be highly generating revenue quarter. So it's all about keeping the investors happy. 
Now, next category of AI layoffs. So it is true that AI has caused some sort of layoffs. For example, Shopify CEO, there was a leak from Shopify CEO's message that the, the biggest reason of layoffs has relationship with AI. And I discussed with, you know, the AI expert from Silicon Valley from the professor, Dr. Ahmad Banafa. And he also agreed as well that AI will cause more layoffs. But at the same time, currently, even now, the more layoffs are customer engineering layoff, support engineer layoffs, but not experienced engineers who are getting laid off, who know GCP as well, Azure as well, AWS as well. No, those are extremely rare happening in tech industry. So let me give you an example. Uh, currently, when I was working at NCR, so in NCR, we used two cloud platforms. When I was working there, they use GCP as well. They use, you know, AWS as well. So if an engineer already knows those two cloud, fla cloud platforms and they are already, you know, above a common engineer who knows these two cloud platforms, they're never going to get laid off. But if there's an engineer who just knows AWS and is not able to, you know, go above and beyond responsibilities, the wo shayad can be laid off. So that's why I think there is definitely huge demand in cloud. I want to tell you, AWS, Amazon just you will be shocked. This is the biggest AI news. Amazon is going to use nuclear energy for their AI data centers directly from the nuclear plant. This is this has never happened before. Jab Mark Zuckerberg I think before we hit that, you're gonna run into energy constraints. Said this in this in his podcast that biggest bottleneck, biggest barrier to entry for AI is not the data. It's not not the GPUs, it's not the hardware, it is energy. It is so true, it is coming out to be true now that Amazon needs so much more energy for AI power data centers that they are going to pull out energy from a nuclear power directly. They're going to use nuclear energy. And that shows how much demand after AI is in cloud-based learning, you know, these distributed systems. Even the podcast I did with, you know, AI engineer in February, we talked about that more demand is for software engineers with distributed system knowledge and it is still so so true so that's why i am so glad to partner with code cloud which allows you to you know use amazon aws gcp plus azure learn all those three together with one subscription and they don't like you know just give you tutorials they tell you go sign into gcp experiment experiment with aks clusters all the cloud services you need to know to be valuable for these AI companies to be an AI engineer. So I love Code Cloud, and you can go check out and get the special deal with my link in description below. How many people you think are actually getting job percentage wise? Uh, percentage wise, like it's below 10%. Now, number three, continuing with job market, still international students are struggling to get a job. I went to Stony Brook University. I went to NYU. More than 60% of international students haven't gotten a job yet. It is so shocking. More than 60%, they will either do their another master's, either go back to India, or maybe just do volunteering as a research assistant at the university, or maybe do a PhD. So they're trying all the options as possible so that they don't have to go back home. And it is one of the worst time for international students someone can imagine. Now, let me tell you the reason for that. So recently, Federal Trade Administration, they released the news that, let's say an engineer works for AWS, Amazon, you know, they work for their cloud platform. Now they want to go to their competitor, like Amazon's competitor is Walmart or AWS competitor is Google cloud platform. Now they want to go, they can go easily. That is not a problem anymore. And these laws were, you know, uh, earlier restricting employees to go to competitors. Now they can easily go unless you make above 150K or you are a senior engineer. So if they are senior, they cannot go. If they are not senior, they can go. If they make less than 150K, they can go. If they make more than 150K, they have those anti-competitive rules, non-compete agreement there that prevents them to go to competitor. So because of that, this market is more senior. So let's say if a senior engineer comes to AWS, they will be less likely to go to GCP, less likely to go to Walmart, less likely to go to competitors. So this market has become a senior only broken market. Now, how to, you know, come out of this broken senior market, how to be an engineer who can easily be hired. So I, you know, with my three years plus of experience, I apply, I get a, you know, position easily because I am in that senior category, but someone who is starting new in the US job market, how can they break this barrier? Number one is 
they can ask their research assistant for example when i was working in my university as a research assistant i asked my professor yeah can i just use the title senior just senior research assistant they were like sure so just you know ask wherever you're working whether it's as a student if it's a teaching assistant you can just put senior in it and ask the has the employer yeah can i put senior in my title and you can cut that non senior market from your resume and be senior ready in in this you know senior is a is a buzzword in in the valley right now whoever has like software engineer 2 or senior this these are just numbers if you can somehow put in your resume you break the cycle since you recruit a lot what are the most high paid jobs you see in the valley is it ai software engineer cyber security what are the ones you see well when we look at the websites with seller ranges we can see that um senior 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 software engineers are in a demand because for example last week one of my friends got an offer for 800k wow where where was uh, it this, um it was uh, facebook so again data scientists machine learning engineers ai specialists all seniors are always in demand so don't please don't be afraid of losing that job then ai cannot substitute the, those jobs number 2 is everyone is using ai generated resumes these days everyone have the buzzwords because yet yeah, yeah, there are so many ai tools like teal ai and all that i don't you know use that because at the end of the day up directly chat gpt use kar sakte ho you can use directly chat gpt because at the end of the day all these ai tools are using some sort of llm like chat gpt and using some sort of prompt why use the third party and pay for it if chat gpt gemini and cloud are free give a prompt and just give the best prompt look for the best prompt and get all the buzzwords for senior market this should be the prompt tell me if i am a senior versus now what will the buzzwords i have to add to my resume to be senior engineer use chat gpt to be in your favor because these prompts no one knows they just ask the chat gpt yeah improve my resume no you have to improve your resume by comparing it with senior resume you need to know about it and chat gpt and all these llms are already trained with that data so these two strategies can help you come out of that senior only broken market and number 4 is this job market is different currently gen z's have chosen more white collar jobs as compared to older generation of millennials because of that there is shortage in construction job market there is increase of 28000 dollars per year salary of any construction engineer or construction people that is so amazing because people are so hyped up about tech industry more people are choosing this major computer science and supply has increased so much and demand is kind of similar as before so that's why it is very important to stand out and for standing out i tell you number one the biggest advice i've given these days is don't just blindly email any hiring manager go to your browser look for all the conferences all the tech events where hiring was happening now the recruiters which were already hiring in those events they are still hiring now probably and email those recruiters who want to hire people as compared to just blindly emailing all the recruiters on linkedin no you need to find the right place right time so iske liye you need to know which recruiters are hiring and apply only to those as compared to random recruiters and this can be only found if you just go and scrape the data of all the active events for example on luma.ai that's one of the favorite web website i use on luma.ai you can see all the bay area events and see who are coming and this is this is like you know these are the recruiters or these were the people who were there to make awareness about the company and they definitely want engineers so apply to those companies with these names of recruiters and the chances will be higher to hear back and last thing i you know i tell people you have to have something related to the hype currently cloud engineering is at the biggest hype as you can imagine because distribution systems and this knowledge is highly in demand because of ai aks kubernetes and you know these uh, these services which deploy these llms on different different data centers and this can be okay and uh, and uh, this distributed system jaise ki kubernetes you know distributed system like kubernetes docker all of these skills connected with cloud computing can help you the most so you can go to core cloud and learn those 
Azure, AWS, as well as GCP on the same platform immediately. So that will be it. Go to Cloud Cloud. Don't forget to check out Code Cloud in description below. And thank you so much for watching.